Guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Now we're gonna do a head-to-head -head battle between two friends that do one thing right. They bring that old school classic masculine to the table. These two came out in two separate years. I mean, there is just a gap differences in years between these two. One came out in 1987. Boy, did that fragrance stand the test of time. The other one came out in 2011. That's a huge year gap between both of them, but they both do the word masculine scent so damn beautifully, so great, so so damn classy. It's just beautiful. So there's one that stands the test of time and then the other one came out like almost yesterday. So we're gonna compare these two and we're gonna tell you the difference. I'm gonna tell you the subtle difference in the, their, um, we're gonna do a review on it. Now, both of these are both from the same lineup, right? They're both from the man, well, the line called Creed. Creed is what we're about to talk about right now. I haven't talked about Creed in a minute. So the first one is going to be Creed Poir de Portugal, right? And then the other one is going to be Creed Royal Oud. Let's do the comparison. Let's get it on. Now let's go with Portugal because I'm excited for Portugal. Let me see. Ooh. Wow, that's a lot of spray. Wow. <laughs> wow. In your face, masculine in your face. My God, that is very masculine. That is very old school. But I like it. I like it. It's, I think I can almost. No, I, I think I can rock this. I, I think I could pull this off. Definitely. This is like old school because I'm a little kind of immature, but, um, you know, I know where to call it quits. Don't get me wrong. This one has the same vibe, but has this brightness to it. And that's because there's not a lot of oud in this. There's not a lot of oud. But what they both do very, very well and what they both have in comparison uh, is that the the woods in these are very complex. They're very complex. Where this one has this lavender barbershop scent to it, it has the complex wood in the background that just it makes it very mysterious. Like this one, this has this mysteriousness to it, but yet it has this little vibrant thing it has these this musk right and it's there's no amber in this or there's no tongue or, there's none of those those spices to make it warm but it has this very green note and it has this soft spices that is just it has this more inviting take of masculine than this one does. This one, Portugal is just straight in your face dominant. It is strong. It will, both of these will get your attention. It will make people turn around and wonder who smells so damn masculine. It's unbelievable. They're both showcasing their chest naked right now. But, um, the ingredients, of course, are not similar. There, there are quite similarity to the 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 um what you get from it, like the powder. The powder is in there. They're both similar to that. Um, the citrus, of course, they're they're similar. They both have citrus. The difference is the spices. The spices in this are different. Because this one 
the 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 royal oud is more soft with the spices compared to this one um of course there's um there's uh ah that's the word i'm looking for musk in this musk is in royal oud and then you have this floral aromaticness in portugal It smells, Portugal smells spicy, yet warm, which is weird. This is, this is really complex. This is a really complex fragrance, but I, I, this is just dominance. Both of these are, fragrances are just dominance. So, bergamot, cedar, uh, sandalwood is in there. Of course, I said lavender. That's, that's a prominent note in there. Uh, Vetter ambergris, and then this one, pink berry, lemon, bergamot. Do smell bergamot? Uh, sandwood definitely. Uh, and of course the oud and the musk in there. But geez, where? So. They're very stylish. Don't get me wrong on that. They're very stylish, very rich, very classy, deep, powerful fragrances from both of these. These things are powerhouses when it comes to being masculine. It really, really takes you and and, and does what it wants with you. This is not an... Uh, a, a kid or adolescence type of fragrance whatsoever. This is really, really good, complex, manly stuff. This thing just brings it to the table raw. And my God, these two are just freaking wonderful. I'm having a great time. It's a little hard, but because the the complexity in these ingredients are very there um i know the elements of royal Oud proceeds of a persian palace and i can see that like i see a palace that's just beautiful it's clean that fresh cut cut grass outside it's just it brings it it's just oh my god and then this one's just kind of very very mysterious very dark mysterious and dude Fra frank sinatra was a man if he rocked this if the rumors are true then he was definitely the man and if you know anything about frank sinatra he left a legacy my god so to to pick a francis if he wore this says a lot he wants something that that can that can stand up to the test of time, be dominant, be alive, be in your face, present, leading, special. Because these two are very special fragrances. I don't have no idea why they're not, why they're over underrated fragrances. I, it makes no sense to me. But be, shit, cry, crap, crap, crap. I would say, with no Portugal, will be no Aventus. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just going. I'm just thinking out loud. I'm just making things up. But, guys, I would say that the projection in these is uh, pretty strong. Especially with this one. This one is dark. So, it's pretty... It smells like the performance... It's really good. Um, would it last? I don't know. I haven't smelled it for... I haven't placed it in my skin for a while. But I really do feel like... These will definitely play well in all season. But I really think it will play well in springtime um, and fall. Um, winter... Yes, but it really depends on 
what type of craziness you're experiencing with winter. But, but other than that, guys, th these two are mature, signature scent worthy fragrances. And that's all I have to say. Guys, thank you for tuning in and watch me talk about stuff. And how complex these fragrances are. Whatever you do, guys, stand out. And I'll see you next time. Peace, deuces. I am out.